Hello! Today I'm up in the woods near a little village called Stape. I suppose it's maybe not even a village, it's really small. Uh, which is up on the North York Moors near Pickering. And we are going to walk today to one of my favourite places in the whole world. Uh, but before that we've got quite a nice little walk planned ahead. Um, it's looking like it might rain a little bit today, so fingers crossed that we don't get too soaked. Uh, but yeah, let's see where we get to. How's about that for a view? Yeah, I think the chances are I'm not going to get completely drenched today are quite small. have brought a coat, so fingers crossed that does the job, but we'll see. I absolutely adore walking up here. It's honestly one of my favourite places to come. I used to be quite fortunate to live only about 10 minute drive from here. Um, and moving away was definitely one of the things that's been hardest to get used to. Where I live now, the walks just, they don't compare to this. This just feels like being in the wild. Um, one time actually I came up here and just the amount of snow. Honestly, we came up first thing in the morning, me and Poppy, and the snow was up to our knees. Walking around, we only did about two miles, but it took hours. We were absolutely knackered afterwards. Um, I've got some photos actually which I'll try to remember to pop in so you can see them but yeah yeah pop it's just bliss up here you can walk up here for hours and hours and hours and hardly see anyone swamp dog always knows where to find some water as well come on pop Another quite interesting fact about this woods is there's actually quite a surprisingly large amount of abandoned homes up here. I don't think you can really see it. I don't want to go down there just because the path is quite bad. You might be able to just see it in the end. I'm not sure. Um, but the, uh, yeah, just, I've, I mean, I've explored a lot of this woods over the years and I'd say maybe within like a you know, like five square miles, I've found probably about five or six houses. Some of them are quite all right, you know, you could probably spend a couple of quid on it and get it done up and other ones are just complete disrepair. Don't think there's any chance of them ever being restored. I think the one down there is sort of in the middle. But yeah, it's, uh, I think it must just be that all this land is owned by some really rich person who just isn't that fussed about keeping up these houses back in the day when this will have all been some lord's land. Obviously, as you can tell, it's very, very, very remote up here. Um, so much so that a lot of the time you'll see, you'll see wildlife. Um, one time I did come up here um, in the winter, I think it was, and saw a herd of red deer, which was incredible and terrifying. Um, and obviously, I got Poppy on the lead, and we made our way past as quietly and unobtrusively as possible. But yeah, it was quite a spectacular sight. Again, I got a little video of it, so I'll pop that in if I can remember where it is. But yeah, definitely one for the history books that won't forget that in a hurry. And it's just started raining. Look at that view. So fortunate to be able to come up here. There you are, ruining the view, stinky dog.
Oh, I tell you, if you are cold when you start walking up that hill, you won't be when you get to the top. Oh, it doesn't even look that big, but it's just really deceptive. Oh, it gets me every time. This is a bit of a shame. Last time I was up here, this was all woods. I know it needs to be done, but it's always sad. Starting to get very wet. And here's your timely reminder that if you do come up here, check yourself for ticks. We might be able to just see it through a gap in the trees. Just over here as well, just over in that distance, somewhere over there, is RAF Filingdales, which is the big hexagonal building that sits on the moors. Uh, once upon a time it used to be the shape of a golf ball, but apparently that's something, for some reason they made the decision to change it. Oh well, I'm sure people who get paid a lot more than I do know the reason why. get a bit of an idea there just how big this valley is. I'll be better view soon. You might just be able to hear that. Hmm, we'll see if you can. If not, I won't give it away just yet where we're going. I literally just finished filming then, and then it happened again. <sighs> really want to get it on camera. Do a quick run. Oh, I just ran. Fingers crossed we can see it. I think we missed it. Damn. Whew. Can never tell which way it's going. Whew. We didn't miss it. Yes. How's about that? <laughs> How's about that, eh? We could not have timed that more perfectly. Absolutely love that sound. <laughs> ah, we had to run to get here, but it doesn't matter because we got here. So to those who don't know what that is, there is an old steam train that runs from Pickering and it goes all the way through this valley. It goes all the way up past uh, past Gromont all the way up to Whitby and you can pay to come and go on it It's probably one of the things that makes Pickering such a great tourist destination. I've been on it myself It was absolutely fantastic would highly highly recommend it And one of the other great things about it as well is it gets used in so many films now fans of the uh, most recent Mission Impossible film Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning part one you might recognize it because it was down here. 
Um, in fact, when they were filming it down here as well, I was actually quite lucky enough to live really close by and I could hear this helicopter flying around loads and I didn't know what it was. So me and Poppy came out to investigate it and we got a little film of them recording uh, bits of the, uh, the, the action scene on top of the train. So uh, I got a little video of that, which I'll pop in as well for you. Oh, and quite a few people actually managed to go and see Tom Cruise. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see him, which I was pretty gutted about. I didn't realize he was there, but yeah, highly recommend watching that film. And if you do, you might just spot some of this. Now you might be thinking that was the spot that I wanted to show you. And it is a really, really great spot, but that is not my favorite place in the world. That's coming up soon. There was a sign back there, but it just bears repeating as well. If you do come up here, be careful because the cliffs up here are a bit, a bit bum squeaky. See what I mean? Ooh. Trip over there and you're not going to live to tell the tale. And we're very nearly there now. Absolutely love this view. And if you're squeamish, look away now. Definitely don't want to fall off that. Honestly, I just can't get over this view. Best place in Yorkshire, without a doubt. And you can see down there as well, the train line does continue along through the valley. And there's a little house down there, which if I ever become a millionaire, I'm going to have to go and buy that guy's house. Now there is one last bit I want to show you, which is a little bit off the beaten track, but I think it'll be highly worth it. You having fun, Pop? Hey. So the end of this walk is just straight ahead, just up there. But we are going downhill for a little bit, all the way down here to look at something pretty cool. So here we are. We've got to come quite far down the valley to, uh, to be able to get here and then come off the beaten track, which is just running back over there. But hidden amongst the trees it's an old ruin so this is what I was meaning about some are completely beyond repair I don't know how on earth you'd rebuild all of this but it's been a ruin for quite some time as you can see there's trees that have grown in the middle of it The old oven, even with a little pot. Now I imagine that that's been there for quite some time, probably before most of this forest was here. Uh, Cause you can sort of see when you're in the area that there is, obviously there's, it goes beyond this initial house. Um, and in the distance, you can hear the train going again.
but yeah, just quite a cool little thing to, to finish off this lovely walk with. Um, I'll leave it there. I won't bore you with my walk back up the hill, which is going to be absolutely exhausting. But thank you so much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, uh, drop us a like and a subscribe. I'm going to be trying to do more of these little videos more often. Showing little areas of the world that I think are worth showing. Uh, so that's goodbye from me and goodbye from Poppy. You going to say bye, Pop? She's not going to say goodbye. Take care.